American Civil War Lieutenant Colonel Federico Fernandez Cavada. Federico Fernandez Cavada was a Cuban-born lieutenant colonel with the Union Army during the American Civil War. He was born on May 17, 1832 in Cienfuegos, Cuba. His parents were Isidoro Fernández Cavada, a Spaniard from Santander, Cantabria, Spain, and Emily Howard Gatier, an American and native of Philadelphia. Federico had two siblings, Emilio, born 1830, died 1914, and Adolfo, born 1832, died 1871 all born in Cienfuegos, Cuba. Federico's father died in 1838 when the boys were young, and the mother took her children back to her native Philadelphia. In Philadelphia, Emily Howard Gatier remarried with Samuel Dutton, and the family lived on 222 Spruce Street. Federico was educated in Philadelphia and became a civil engineer and topographer. He met John C. Troutwine, who was an American civil engineer, architect, and engineering writer. Troutwine offered him work surveying Panama with the intentions of creating a railroad. After Panama, he returned to Philadelphia in poor health. While recuperating, Federico spent his time sketching and reading and became focused on the abolition movement. When the Civil War broke out, Federico enlisted on July of 1861. He entered as a captain in the 23rd Pennsylvania Volunteers under General George B. McClellan. Due to his talent and work with topography and drawing in 1862 during the Pennsylvania campaign, Federico would ride on military hydrogen balloons sketching out Confederate positions. Adolfo Fernandez Cavada served in the Union Army in the 23rd Pennsylvania Infantry as an aide to General Andrew A. Humphreys. Adolfo served with distinction in the armies of the Potomac in the battles of Fredericksburg and Gettysburg. Emilio Fernandez Cavada was an active fundraiser for the cause of Cuban independence. He sent arms and ammunition to Cuban forces on the island. Emilio would eventually resettle in Cienfuegos, Cuba, and started a family, having six children, Isidoro, Ines, Angela, Emilio, Adolfo, and Fernando. Back to Federico Fernandez Cavada, he would serve with Company K in the 23rd Pennsylvania until July of 1862. He was then commissioned as Major in the 114th Infantry Regiment of Pennsylvania Volunteers. Within a month after his commission as Major, Federico became a Lieutenant Colonel. His regiment officially joined the Army of the Potomac and saw battles at Fredericksburg and Virginia. The regiment was also part of General Ambrose Burnside's campaign in 1863, where they were defeated by General Robert E. Lee. In early May, the 114th Pennsylvania battled in Chancellorville, Virginia. Lieutenant Colonel Federico Fernandez Cavada and his regiment entered the fight at Gettysburg on July the 1st against General William Barksdale's Mississippi troops. The battle took place at Peach Orchards near the wheat field where the bloodiest part of the Battle of Gettysburg occurred. Although Barksdale's troops were defeated, Federico Fernandez Cavada was captured on July 2, 1863. Federico was sent to Libby Prison in Richmond, Virginia. During his imprisonment, he created sketches and writings, and Federico was a prisoner until January of 1864. He wrote a book about his time there called Libby Life, Experiences of a Prisoner of War in Richmond, Virginia, 1863-64. Afterwards, Federico was appointed counsel for the United States at Trinidad, Cuba, until 1869. Federico left his position during Cuba's Ten Years' War and eventually became commander-in-chief of all Cuban forces. The war was between the Spanish and the Cubans and he was captured by the Spanish gunboat Neptuno in 1871 and then tried and found guilty. Federico Fernandez Cavada was executed on July 1st, 1871.